I'm Pam Masters, a collaborative family lawyer and mediator. I guide couples on the difficult journey of divorce without court involvement. I do this to protect children, preserve financial assets, and achieve better outcomes for my clients. Esther Perel is having a moment. Esther is a Belgian therapist, author, podcaster, and overall fascinating woman. She works with couples mostly, and she seems to be everywhere these days, talking about marriage, divorce, affairs, and relationships. I really like what she has to say, and I find in my experience working with couples, what she says is usually right on the mark. This week, I saw an interview with Esther in which she challenged the prevailing idea that a divorce is a failure of some sort, a death, a loss, an always sad and regretful thing that happens. Esther challenged us to think about divorce differently, much the same way that collaborative process challenges us to think about divorce differently. Esther believes not all divorces are synonymous with failure, that a relationship of 10 years, 15 years or more, during which a couple has raised children, buried parents, supported one another through economic or health challenges and the pursuit of careers, that a relationship that has done all of that is not a failure. The fact that the relationship is ending is sometimes due to the inevitable changes in people's fundamental needs or desires or growth and is in no way a reflection of a failure. That couple's done a lot of what marriage is about. So it's inaccurate and actually shame inducing to say that the main marker of success of a marriage is its longevity. A marriage may end and it may be the end of something that may have been limited, limited in duration yet in some ways still very good. A marriage of any length can be a beautiful chapter in one's life. Collaborative divorce is the only divorce process that makes room for this reality. Divorce is a legal process to be sure, but it's also an emotional process, a financial process, a physical process, for some a religious process. It's one that has the potential to impact future generations. Collaborative divorce, because it is so much more than a legal process, leaves room for couples to acknowledge and appreciate the successes they did have the good things that they did together, and to embark on a new relationship with one another from a positive perspective. Collaborative divorce allows for kindness, respect, empathy, and room for recognition that what they have done together was good, while at the same time moving toward their separate lives. The focus on what was right as the couple works to decide what has to happen now that things have gone wrong helps them make really good decisions that they will be satisfied with long term that will minimize the trauma of the end of the relationship on them and their children and that will leave them feeling proud of the way they handled themselves through the divorce. This will lead to a shorter grief process as well. We know that collaborative divorce is the better way, and this is one of the many reasons why. I'd love to talk to you more about collaborative divorce. You can reach me at 386-271-8044. Shoot me an email at pam at masterscdc.com. And there's also tons of great information on my website at www.masterscdc.com.